you don't throw a baseball with just your arm. Shoulder, upper torso, arms, chest, abdominal, legs, and some even believe more muscles are involved. So when Ohio pitcher Seth Strike hurt his hamstring playing in the field, it had a huge effect on when he would get back on the mound. Well, I guess it first started, I started out, uh, I came to OU as a two-way player. I mean, I was a pitcher and I started playing a little third base here. And um, this year was really one of my goals to play in the outfield. And I think it was my second game playing in left field when we were playing against Marshall, I think three or four weeks ago when I was rounding second base, Jake Madsen. I uh, hit a double off the wall and I was rounding second base and I remember feeling something pop in my hamstring. It felt like my leg exploded. Time was key to a successful return. One of my main concerns when I first got the injury was that I would come back too fast. And I know that was one of the concerns with our trainer and also with Coach Carbone. And the biggest thing for me was just to kind of not let that happen because if I came back too early and re-aggravated it, then I would have been out even longer. If, if you go overboard and try to do too much, tendency is that you have a setback so patience is is the key word I guess you know we could say we all want to get out there as quickly as we can and college baseball players have no patience. But because of the pitching motion's unique movement time was not the only concern. The, the pitching motion is such a is such an infinite skill that when one part of your body gets out of whack it puts more pressure on another part of your body and that's how guys come up with arm injuries. Pitching takes a lot of your body, all the way from your toes to you know the fingertips of your hands. So it's it's a very dynamic movement. There's a lot of pieces that come together that have to to coincide and work you know as a one unit. Just because how violent the pitching motion is and the repetition and uh, strenuous uh, activities that they're doing and uh, how many pitches they are pitching, especially starting pitchers like Seth. Pitchers' preparation before games and practice stand out from their teammates. Um, usually before the games, uh, we'll have these guys come in. Some, we'll have them get on the uh, UBE or the hand bike to do a general warm-up, and then we'll stretch them in um, all the different planes and uh, range of motions of the shoulder as far as internal external rotation, abduction, extension flexion uh, to warm them up. And then we'll do some uh, um, exercises as far as uh, using the TheraBands, uh, we have a body blade that we use and we use the uh, trampoline for the plyo back, uh, back exercises too. And then they, the pitchers have uh, therabands out in the field in the bullpen that they uh, do a warm up uh, dynamic uh, workout before uh, they pitch or if in between uh, starts. And pitchers injuries are different across the board. Yeah, um, you just kind of have to focus at the shoulder complex and the elbow more um, as far as overhead sports and athletes like um, uh, football, like quarterbacks, baseball, softball. But in sports, injuries will happen. But with a positive mindset, it's something players can grow from. Um, I think it might be a little bit of a benefit for me because in the past I've struggled with trying to overthrow and use too much of my motion. And what this injury has kind of done is kind of sent me back enough to where I can't overthrow and where I have to keep things simple on the mound.